It's Monday, 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 May 24th, 2021. This is another episode of the Corporate Cowboys Podcast. I'm your host, Alex. Today's episode is about hypnosis. Does it work? Does hypnosis work? Or is it just a hustle? (laughs) Is hypnosis really just a distraction? Keeping you distracted just long enough to get the desired effect, to achieve the desired outcome? Is it a way to keep you entranced? Is it just an enchantment? Got your eyes, got your eyes distracted? Where your eyes are quicker than your mind? Is that is that what it is? Your eyes are faster than your mind? Or is it your mind taking in more information than your eyes can comprehend? Well, I mean, your eyes don't have a fucking brain, so how do your eyes comprehend? Come on, Alex, what the fuck? Well, you really think about it. Hustling is a lot like hypnosis. You want to get your way, then you have to set up your way. Your way needs to appear better. Your way must be better. You must believe that your way is better. You have to believe that your way is the only way. And every other way is an impossibility, is irrational, is illogical, unreasonable, is unfathomable, is is a fucking, is blasphemy. (laughs) Every other way that isn't yours is unrighteous. Only then, in the way that you speak, the way that you act, according to the way that you are, will doors open for you and your hustle will be true. Your hustle will be righteous. Your hustle will be for the quote unquote right reasons. Nobody will question your motives. Me, I'm a sick motherfucker. I can make anything sound right. I can make anything sound bad. They don't pay me enough though. They don't pay me enough to go out of my way and try to make what's wrong sound right. There are some motherfuckers out there in society who apparently get paid enough, who apparently get paid to make selling their humanity worthwhile and making what's wrong appealing to the masses appealing to the unknowing to the innocent to the quote unquote innocent for lack of a better term I'm not going to get too esoteric into that shit but uh, in school colleagues and and I some colleagues and I would play around with uh, with rhetoric in that sense I don't I'm not too big on you know argue argumentative what is it argumentation fallacies fallacious argumentation I'm not one for logical fallacies but what I did find that was appealing especially when it came time for like argumentation and debate is one's ability to take cognitive dissonance and rationalize it it's knowing knowing what you're doing is bad knowing what you're doing is wrong knowing that what you're doing is immoral or unnatural and still arguing for its existence for its propagation still promoting it wholeheartedly still advertising it in a wholesome manner it's hypnosis it's fucking hypnosis I like it 
it's a skill it's a skill to have everyone should know how to do it everyone should know how to uh, market how to hustle everyone should know how to hypnotize it takes I mean for some it takes years and for others it takes days I mean when you're when you're uh, when you're a fucking corporate cowboy when you are a, a an initiated killer <laughs> it's in the same vein as infiltrating an organization when you infiltrate an organization you are essentially hip, you like hypnotizing you are essentially hypnotizing the sentries hypnotizing the guards and I mean in this case it's gonna be hypnotizing the employees hypnotizing the secretaries in order to get to the VPs and the managers when you're infiltrating an organization it's the same fucking thing that you're doing it's hypnosis it's a hustle it's a game and I play to win I don't fuck around I play to win it's the same thing when you're pitching an idea when you're proposing an initiative to a manager or to a board of chair people, when you're pitching an initiative to a board, it's hypnosis. You still have to know your audience. Your audience has to be receptive, has to be open to this idea. And this takes a lot of groundwork, a lot of background work. It takes, it takes time takes time to really know and tailor your approach to your audience like I say for some it takes a lot of more for for some folks for some corporate cowboys should I just say cowboys now for some corporate cowboys it takes more time than for other corporate cowboys they're just gonna be more effective more efficacious at their job But it requires you to get around the safeguards, the mental safeguards that people and or organizations will put up in order to filter out what, from their perspective, might be quote unquote wrong or bad or evil. In order for you to to run that pitch, to run that ball into the end zone. In order for you to run with the bag to the goal line. Hypnosis, does it work? Well, I guess that depends on how good you are. I guess that depends on how capable you are. You have to be agile. You can't be fake. You can be eccentric, but you can't be disingenuous. You can be special, you can be unique, but you can't be... What's the... What's the term I'm looking for? There, there is a term that I'm looking for. You can't be uh, belligerent, I guess. Because when you get found out, when you get found out, the the enchantment is up. The hypnosis wears off, folks will see right through your motives, right through your goals and your objectives. And short of uh, not leaving a witness, you'll leave a failure. So you gotta weigh your options. I mean, you have to be a well-rounded, but a sharp, professional if you think you can undertake 
if you think you can undertake hypnotizing a whole board, try starting with one individual. All right, try starting there. With an individual, I feel like you can catch somebody up in just uh, a run-on sentence. It's kind of like how a fast talker or a, a quick changer or a sleight of hand artist, a pickpocket, will get what they want. Why? Because they don't stop. They don't allow you to interrupt them. They don't allow you to interrupt them. They will necessarily work around you and you will walk into, inevitably, walk yourself into their desired outcome. You will walk yourself into losing your wallet. You will walk yourself into losing your watch. You could walk yourself into losing your life. You have to have that tenacity. You have to have that elasticity to work around people. It's like how, uh, there you go, it's like how walls are made. You start with bordering off, with walling off one person, and as that person moves around, you continue creating your wall. And as that person moves, you continue stacking bricks, building up a wall. Sooner or later, they will retrace a step they've already been into and they will find themselves walled in completely because you've been working around them. It's a choppy analogy. It's a crude, it's a crude analogy, but it works. It makes sense. The goal and infiltrating an organization usually is to start with one individual. It's approaching one individual and it's a cold approach. And still you have to be you have to be working at hypnotizing, working at hustling from the moment you step in the door. From the moment you step in the door, your presence has to be one of I want, I want to say almost authority. You have to step in authoritatively. You have to know that you walking into the room was the right thing to do at the right time in the right place in a righteous manner. <laughs> I, suppose, I suppose hustling has to do a lot more with convincing yourself with hypnotizing yourself, and you might call this meditation, you might call this reflection. Does hypnosis work? Well, you have to ask yourself if what you're doing is right. And if others can see your perspective and respect it without you having stopped to even take a breath or to let them interject, then they're along for the ride. You have them along for the ride. And at that point, you have them hypnotized. At that point, your pitch or your proposal is almost expected. It's expected and it's embraced. Ultimately, that's how hypnosis works. Yeah, there's a lot of repetition. That's why I've been asking, does hypnosis work? Because it doesn't, if you don't. Get the fucking work, man.
Have a nice week.